What's up everyone, TechLoud here and in this video I'm going to review the Spigen case for HTC One M8. This version is available in different colors and this particular one is gunmetal version and also if you look at uh, this warning, small warning over here, it says the product may limit the remote control functionality. So. After putting the case, I will test whether it is uh, going to limit the remote control functionality or not. And as you can see over here, it is the slim armor case for HTC One M8. And the link is available in the description of uh, this video. The case cost around $20 US dollars and uh, I bought this one from Amazon and let's open the box and uh, let's see how the case looks like and how is the form and functionality of this case for HTC One M8. So let's open the box and uh, let's see what is included in the box and uh, here is the case and let me check whether anything else is inside. Nope. That's uh, pretty much it. and. Here is the case. So as you can see, it is actually uh, two tone colors. This particular one is the gunmetal color. And this one has the rubber casing inside. And outside, this is a little bit uh, harder plastic. So let's put the device inside the case. So I have uh, actually removed the case into two pieces and uh, I'm going to apply the rubber version first. As you can see, it is applied already. Now I'm going to fit the, the plastic, the hard plastic version. So first uh, I will put this side because there are buttons on this side and the other side was very easy to put. So the case is actually little bit uh, actually quite a lot uh, bulkier as compared to the official uh, HTC One uh, case and uh, however it seems to provide a nice uh, bit of protection because uh, it will actually uh, sustain most of your uh, even edge impacts as well at least that's what it claims and uh, I have uh, no way to test uh, this one because I don't want to ruin my brand new HTC One M8. So let's check out the cutouts. At the bottom we have uh, cutouts for the micro USB cable and the headphone jack. And on the side actually we don't have the cutouts for the volume button. Rather we have a rubber uh, button for the volume. And uh, let's see how well it works and as you can see it works nicely there are no issues and same is the case with the top power button it has the rubber padding on the top and it works pretty well no issues here also if you look from the side it does have the raised edges so it's gonna withstand most of the impact even if it fell face down only problem will be the small pebbles and rocks that will uh, touch the screen and which can bypass these edges but the flat surfaces i don't think it will be a problem because this particular side has the plastic as well as the rubber padding so it's gonna sustain most of the impacts and uh, still it looks nice but it has uh, made the device a lot bulkier as you can see here so for the protection, sometimes you have to sacrifice the thinness and the form of the device. I'm not uh, a fan of such type of cases, but since uh, I actually prefer to use uh, speaking cases, so I like this uh, case and I brought uh, this one just to test uh, how well this one goes. If I find that this is too heavy, then obviously I'm going to replace uh, this case with the either the official case or some other thin case. So I'm going to test the remote control functionality of the HTC One M8 whether the remote functionality works with the, the case on 
So I'm back and uh, actually I have uh, tested the remote control functionality and it is not working at all from any distance even from the closest uh, point I'm not able to turn on the TV using the remote control function. So if you are going to buy this case uh, obviously you need to keep in mind that uh, you are going to lose the remote uh, control functionality. So actually when I bought this case uh, it was not uh, listed uh, on the Amazon website or probably it is uh, listed I probably might have uh, missed this uh, particular uh, function of this case or rather lack of function you can say. So guys uh, this is how this case uh, looks and this is how this case uh, functions and uh, attached uh, to this particular device and uh, it has a uh, well made cutouts, cutouts uh, for most of the things uh, even for the microphone and all. So let me test the camera also. I'm a little bit uh, concerned about this flash whether this flash will uh, work fine with this particular case or not. The flash does seem to work fine and uh, I don't see any issues with it i have actually taken the picture and it also looks fine so guys i hope uh, that you have liked the video thanks for watching and uh, subscribe for more videos like that take care and uh, i'll see you later bye